devoted and skilled an offer in support of fossil fuels. Tell me why I should trust you to fight fossil fuel, fight big oil, resist fossil fuels, and stop climate change. Yeah. Um, first of all, thanks for the question. I don't know that I uh, totally agree with the characterization, but I'll, I'll answer in the spirit of your question. You're right, I'm, I'm, home, I'm, I'm from the home of much of the country's oil and gas industry. I'm also from the home of the country's largest provider of wind energy. Um, I'm also uh, in a state that is about to take the lead in the generation of renewable solar energy. The two fastest growing jobs in America are wind and solar jobs. So for our ability to meet the obligation of the next generation, combat climate change, and create the high wage, high skilled jobs that we need, it's in our national interest to invest in renewable energy. And as, as I said out loud, and I'll say it again to you one on one, we have to transition as quickly as we possibly can from our reliance on fossil fuels, from the emission of greenhouse gases. We will literally cook this planet and cook the generations that follow ours to death. Will you uh, say no to frack gas expansion? Widespread devastation. I think that any community that will be impacted by fracking should be able to decide whether they want that operation there. Um, so we're fighting there, there a pipeline been, in New Hampshire, more than one. Yeah. And so, you know, we're, you just came from the fracking fields of Pennsylvania, and you know, we're really concerned here that there's a lot of gas expansion push in the Northeast. And I've heard you say that you support all types of energy. If you're telling us that you're going to transition us away from fossil fuels, when does that happen? How long is it going to take? Are you going to support the Green New Deal, and are you going to say no to frack gas? So, yes, I support the Green New Deal. Yes, I understand that uh, as close to 2030 as we possibly can, we have to have this economy in this country fully transitioned uh, off a of reliance on fossil fuels. But yes, I also drove here in a Dodge Grand Caravan that burns gasoline. And the oil and fossil fuel energy needs that we have have to be extracted from, refined somewhere in the world. And I want that to be in this country for as long as we are using that. Um, but I also want to make sure that we speed that transition. When it comes to fracking, as you mentioned, I just left Pennsylvania, where that governor ensured that on public lands, uh, you can no longer uh, operate fracking sites and you can't build new ones going forward. I come from a state where some municipalities have elected to not allow, and I'm thinking of Denton and North Texas, have not allowed fracking to take place. And the state of Texas has overruled them I believe in those local communities and local stakeholders. If you do not want that operation near you, then you should not have that operation near you. If you have a pipeline coming through your community, you should have a seat at the table. Uh, I think that's the right way to do it, but I think we also have to acknowledge that we're still using these fossil fuels right now. So there's gotta be a responsible transition. I also just met um, a, a family member of a coal miner in Pennsylvania, and she said, I wanna make sure that as you transition, you talk responsibly about what that means to our lives, our communities, and our families. We literally have built and fueled the success of this country. There should be some respect paid to us. This may have been the fuel of the